Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing some strength training exercises with a stretchy band and also some balance exercises. Now we are gonna be doing some of them in a chair, so make sure that you have a sturdy chair available. No wheels, no armrests. Make sure that it's not gonna move on you. Um, make sure that you have a an area that's free of any clutter or anything that you could possibly trip over. Um, the band, if you don't have this style of band with the handles and the tube, if you have a physical therapy band, the kind that's the flat, um, the flat band, that's fine too. You can just grab it with your hands, whatever you have. Um, I'm using a green one, which is, tends to be lighter, but you can use a heavier one if you would like a little bit more challenge with your workout. And also just depending on what you have available. So um, go ahead and grab that. Make sure you have some water. We're gonna make sure to stay hydrated throughout the workout. So please feel free to take regular water breaks. And if you need to have shoes on, uh, supportive shoes, go ahead and do that. And I think we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so grab that band. And remember anytime that you're using the band, it's similar to a cable exercise in terms of the pull and the tension. But the advantage of the band is that the more you shorten it up, the harder it is, and the more slack you give yourself, the easier it is. So, sorry about my dogs there. Um, so you can always adjust as you need to, and you can either hold the handles and extra loops or just hold the band if you prefer to do that. So either way is fine. Let's go ahead and get you started. One of my favorite ones is just pulling the band apart. So we're gonna get started with that one my music here okay so we're going to start by sitting up tall engaging the abdominals a little bit make sure that we have good posture if you feel like you need the backrest go ahead and use that for this one and we're gonna grab our handles if you have them and shorten up our band a little bit here so we're pulling the band apart so the first part we're gonna do with the arms just extended forward so again keep that nice good posture abs pulled in and engaged but remember to breathe relax your jaw relax your neck relax your shoulders and continue breathing evenly through it all right let's go ahead and pull that band apart you're gonna bring it in towards the chest without shrugging up bring your shoulder blades in towards each other and release it out and bring your hands forward again. Good. Just keep breathing through it. Now, again, if that's easy, bring the hands closer together. And if it's too hard, give yourself some more slack and bring the hands further apart. Now you'll notice I'm starting to rock, rock back and forth. So I'm adding the abdominal sit-up option here. So if you're feeling good about that, you feel stable enough, you can sit a little bit forward in your chair, feet down flat on the floor, spine is still lengthened, and you're leaning back and leaning forward just to give those abs a little extra challenge here. Keep breathing through it. We're gonna do one more like that. All right, now extra challenge here. If you're doing the ab part of it, you're gonna lean back and hold without resting on the back of your chair. And we're just gonna pull that band apart, release, keep breathing. Release, one more. All right, so just hanging on to that band. We're still leaning back and we're just gonna do a little rotation here for the abs. If you're too far back, go ahead and move a little bit forward. Just make sure that your chair is not gonna tip on you. And we're just gonna rotate side to side. You don't have to pull the band right now. We're just extending the arms forward to give a little bit of a lever. Make it just a bit more challenging. Side to side. Still leaning back without resting on the back of the chair. Now, if you want that extra challenge, of course, we can add the knee lift on the same side as the direction that you're turning. All right, try to think about using the abs to lift the leg. Nice and controlled movements. Breathing through it. We're just gonna do one more of those. All right, great job. Okay, let's take a little break on that. Hydrate if you need it, and we're gonna do our shoulder mobility exercise. And that is put the coat on, take the coat off. So if you're watching this in October, 
you will know that we have weather that requires you to put a coat on and take it off during the day. So we're gonna work on that. If for any reason your shoulders are not feeling good about this, you can just keep the band in front of the body. Or if you have trouble with it, we don't want you wrapping it around your neck, so please modify if you need to. All right, go ahead and go the other direction. Same thing. This is just shoulder mobility. You might feel it a little bit in your waistline. Three more. Good job, last one. Okay, so going back to those deltoids. Now we're gonna do more of a lap pull down. So again, you're gonna grab the handles and grab an extra length of band, just like we did on the first set. But this time we're pulling down from the top. So you're gonna bring your band all the way up and now bring it down to the chest. So if you think of a lap pull down in the gym, same kind of thing, you're bringing the shoulder blades together, but you're getting a little bit more bonus work for the shoulder. So I'm adding the lean back. And if you wanna do a little march with it for extra challenge, go ahead and do that. So those are options. If you prefer to just do the pull downs, that is completely fine. Good. Nice, just one more. Okay, excellent. All right, so let's rest the shoulders, the upper body for a moment. Hydrate if you need it. We're going to switch to some lower back and then some legs. So for these, we're gonna put the band underneath the feet. Now, please make sure that you secure it so it's underneath your arches, especially if you have shoes that don't have definite arches. Make sure that it's in the center and that you keep the toes down and the heels down so that it doesn't come off the front or the back and snap you. So nice and secure. Try to get your ends of the band even adjusted if you need to. And we're gonna just start with the lower back exercise. Now we've done plenty for the upper back, so we're not gonna do our rows here. What we're gonna do instead is just hang on to that band, keep the feet down, and then lean back. Now be sure that your toes don't come up when you do that. So we have a little lower back and abs here. You can shorten up even more if you feel like you didn't get much resistance there. Keep those toes down, keep those heels down. Keep breathing through it. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more slack here because that's pretty hard. So you can do that as well if you need to. Keep the shoulders back. So a lot of times people, when they come forward, they're round the shoulders round the back and bring the head forward. We don't wanna do that. We wanna to continue to keep our good posture with the shoulders back, the spine lengthened and the chest lifted. Good job. One more. All right, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and crisscross the handles and we will do alternating sides of the knee lift and tap out. So this is for outer glute, outer thigh. Do a big step out and in as wide as you can without having to scoot around in your chair. All right, so working on the stabilizer muscles of the glutes. Big lift and tap out, tap in, tap out, tap in, good. See if you can go a little bit wider, challenge yourself here. Good job. Okay, so the next ones that I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a seated or standing option. So if you prefer to do seated while we do the next couple of exercises, go ahead and stay here. If you want a little bit more challenge, we can stand up for these. You always have a chair or a wall there for support if you feel like you need it. And we're going to put the band back under the feet in your camera frame there. There we go. All right, so we have the band back under the feet. We're gonna crisscross again and go for some upright rows. So we're doing a little bit more shoulder work here. The key to these is making sure that we're going wide. We wanna keep the rotator cuff safe, not going too narrow, and you don't have to lift up real high. So this is a little bit different from an upper back row in that we are focusing more on the shoulders. Now you may feel it in the arms and the back a 
little bit and that is fine. Breathing through it. Now you'll see why I'm giving you a standing option when we get to the next one. But again, the more the length that you have from your anchor point, the more challenging it's going to be. So on this exercise, Standing is going to be more challenging than sitting, but sitting is always an option for you if you need to do that. Last one. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and uncross the band, and if you're standing, bring your feet just a little bit wider. Make sure that you are still secured with the band underneath your feet. Now, people that are sitting, you're gonna be doing the same thing, but only the bicep curl portion of it, okay? So elbows tucked in, palms up, and just going up and down as far as you can. Now, if you're standing, we're gonna add our squat to it. So, if you're doing the squat, make sure that the knees are not dropping in towards each other. And as you come down, sit back in the heel, keep your chest lifted up, shoulders back, and squeeze those glutes. Don't forget to do that. At the bottom, as you come up, give them a big squeeze and check your form. Make sure that you're not shifting over to one side or the other. You might need check in the mirror just for a moment if you have one available or even on camera like I'm doing good partial squats are fine as always pain-free range of motion if your knees bother you at all you don't have to come as far down nice we're almost there one more all right, good job. Okay, so just some little bonus biceps here before we finish. You don't have to do the squat. Three, two, and one. Okay, very good job. So let's go ahead and take the band out from under the feet. I'm gonna grab a sip of water here. Please make sure that you do hydrate during and after your workout. All right, so seated or standing option for our chest press. And you'll see why in just a moment here, we are going to bring the band around behind your back. So if you're seated, go ahead and just move a little bit forward in your chair so you have some room there. We're gonna bring it around behind, I don't know if you can see it, but around the middle of the back and underneath the arms. And we're gonna be doing our chest press by grabbing the handles and then shortening up the band a little bit. So we're right here. Now, if you're standing, you're gonna add a balance challenge by going into a heel toe position, either foot in front to start. So you're gonna notice right away that makes it more challenging. Try to get all the way in if you can so that one heel is, uh, the heel of one foot is against the toes of the other foot. And you're immediately gonna notice your ankles are gonna to start to wobble a little bit. That is totally normal because you're in a narrower stance. So do the best you can. You can always step back out into the wider stance at any point. Or if you're seated, we're just gonna do the chest press. So from right here, punch forward and release. Punch forward and release. And as always, shorten up the band if you need to. If it's too easy, shorten it up. If it's too hard, lengthen it out. Don't forget to breathe. Make sure those shoulders are not lifting up towards the ears. Good, nice. How's your balance feeling? If you're doing the balance, remember if you, if you feel like you need to, you can always step back out. Good, let's take a little break there. And if you are doing the balance, shift to the other foot in front. Very often one side will be easier than the other. So take a moment to adjust yourself here. If you're doing the balance, get used to, obviously this is my worst side for some reason. I've never quite figured out why that is. All right, once you're stable, we're gonna do another set of chest press. So make sure your band is still right there in the center of the back. I know sometimes it rubs on the arm, so just do the best that you can with it. Breathe, shoulders down, make sure you're not tightening your neck at all little wobble in the feet is normal in this challenge position for the balance. Good, just a couple more. All right, very good. 
good job. Okay, so go ahead and step back out of that for a moment. Before we do another balance challenge, we're just going to go into a narrow foot position if you're standing. If you're seated, just stay right the way you are, and we're gonna do our rotator cuff. So the rotator cuff muscles, of course, are those small stabilizer muscles in the shoulder. We're gonna work on those. You're gonna grab your band, again, seated or standing option, grab your band, um, handles an extra loop give yourself a little bit more slack on this one palms are up and upper arms are locked in tight by your sides now you're just doing an open and close good so remember the key to this one is not letting the arms come up away and that's very very common to see that so even if you can only just do a little bit of range of motion this is called external rotation and it is one of the best exercises for working on and strengthening the rotator cuff. There are four muscles on each side. Now, of course, if you have any pain, if you've had any injury or a rotator cuff tear or a strain or anything like that, if there's any reason you need to not do this, please just skip this one. We don't want any kind of bad pain at all. We want to just work the muscles. Last one. All right, good job. So our next one is going to be an isolating exercise for the triceps, but I'm also going to give you a balance and lower body option. So the first part is we're going to be having this arm be your working arm and the other, arm, the other hand is stabilizing. So you're going to grab with one hand right in the center of the band. Go all the way to the center so that you just have a little bit of length here on the working arm. Now, if you're standing, we're going to go into a split stance this time. So a wider stance and toes of both feet pointed forward, we're gonna be adding some lunges to this if you're doing the standing variation. So let's start with just the tricep extension. Hang on with that stabilizing hand and extend the working arm all the way out. Give yourself a little bit more band if you need to, and then we're gonna add those lunges. Now these are gonna be a little bit of a balance challenge. So again, if you need to go back to just a regular straddle stance, that is fine. Front knee is gonna stay behind the toes. That back heel is okay to lift up. And as always, stay in pain-free range of motion. Good. Breathe through it. Good, just one more on this side. Okay, go ahead and step in. So we're gonna to switch to the other side. So now this hand is the anchor hand. This arm is the working arm. So we're gonna grab right in the middle with the anchor hand, give yourself a little bit more length on the working arm. And if you're doing the standing variation, go ahead and switch sides on that as well. Remember you're lining up on a straight line like you were on a balance beam with the toes pointed forward. And start with that tricep extension. Triceps, of course, are on the back of the arm. And you want to fully extend all the way at that elbow joint. Now, if you're standing, add in your lunges. Back heel is lifted up. Drop that back knee down towards the floor and keep the front knee behind the toes. And again, little balance challenge here. Do what you can. Keep breathing through it. Don't forget the tricep extension. Good, just two more of those. And last one, all right, good job. Okay, so go ahead and put your band aside. We are all done with that. We're gonna come back to our chair for a moment here and do some ab exercises and then finish with some more balance exercises. So go ahead and grab some water if you haven't had any in a little bit. And we are going to do a one quarter turn to the side and do our lean back abs. So go ahead and turn quarter of the way to the side and start by lengthening the spine. Sit up as tall as you can. Pull that belly button in, make sure the shoulders are back. All right, so we're gonna start by just leaning back until you feel the abs engaging there. If you feel like you need to hold on to the chair, go ahead and do that. Make sure that you're not rounding forward. You're keeping that back lengthened out and then you can do whatever you'd like with the arms. They can be forward, they can be up by the ears, 
They can be all the way up to the ceiling. Whatever you'd like to do, you'll notice that the further you reach up, the more challenging it is. So go ahead and work at the right level for yourself. And then you're gonna go back and forth. We're not quite gonna come all the way up at the top. We're gonna keep a little tension on those abs. And we're gonna just start with this part. Again, if you need to hold on to the chair for security, go ahead and do that. But keep those shoulders rotated back, chest lifted up. Keep breathing, even though you have the abs engaged. All right, from here, we're gonna do our rotations here with the option for an extended leg lift, all right? If you prefer to just do the rotations, the lean back in rotations, that's fine. If you want that extra challenge, one leg only up at a time. So the same side as the direction that I'm rotating, I'm lifting. Now again, you can have hands up here or even all the way up. If you really want that extra challenge, the further up you reach, the harder it's gonna be. Remember the leg lift is an option. Last one. All right, good job. Let's go ahead and turn all the way to the other side. And we're gonna start with the lean back. All right, so again, check your form here. Sit up super tall, lengthen the spine, abs pulled in, wherever you'd like to position your arms. We're gonna start with just that little lean back. Again, you can have hands here or hands all the way up. Make sure that you're being challenged by it. But if you need to use the chair for support, go ahead and do that as well. You might be able to challenge yourself a little bit more now that you're more familiar with the exercise. Breathing through it, even though you have the abs engaged, we want to make sure that we're not holding the breath. Keep your good posture, relax your neck. Just those abs should be working now. An extra challenge, if you want to position the hands differently. Good, all right, we're gonna move into our rotations now. So lean back with the rotation option to lift the leg on that same side. Again, just one leg coming up so that we're safe with it. The leg lift is an option. You can do just the rotation. And again, the modifications on the arms, wherever you'd like to have those positions. Lean back and rotate, keep breathing through it. Three. two, and one. All right, very good work. Okay, so hydrate if you need to, and then we're gonna do a little bit more on the balance. So go ahead and come up, and we're gonna have our chair here for support. So these are standing, but we're gonna have our chair there for support if we need it. So first one, we're just gonna do heel raise, toe raise, just for the foot, ankle, and lower leg strength and flexibility through the ankles. Some people find that they just don't have very good flexibility through the ankles, so we're going to try and work on that. I've got the feet positioned close together for the balance challenge and also to help avoid the ankles rolling in. That's called pronation and we want to make sure that we're not doing that. One more, heel toe. All right, very good. So we're gonna be shifting our weight over to the inside leg and we're going to be doing our tree pose. So shift over, remember that your center of gravity now is over here instead of at the center. So that's gonna help you balance a little bit better if you think about shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, mentally shift your center of gravity over there. And then the other leg, open the knee to the outside as far as you can. You can keep the toes down you can have it a little higher as long as that foot is not pressing against the knee of the standing leg. You can have it even higher still if you want to. Now challenge yourself and see if you can let go of your chair. If not, that's okay. If you need the chair, go ahead and use it. Don't forget to breathe. Very important. Keep breathing. And then extra challenge. If you're feeling great with this, go ahead and close your eyes. Need to open at any point, go ahead. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes now. Now, before we finish this one, we are gonna add some rotation. I'm just gonna bring the hands to center here. 
You can have them wherever you like, but we're just going to rotate away from the chair. That's your challenge there. Hold. Breathe. And then come back to center. Don't worry, we're only doing one each direction. Now rotating towards your chair. Hold. Keep breathing through it. And come back to center. All right, good work. Go ahead and shake out that leg. We're going to come around to the other side of the chair. Do another set of our heel raise, toe raise. Put out a screen there. We'll be back up. Okay, so again, feet close together, just like before. Make sure that those ankles do not roll in. You may have to consciously think about making sure that they are not rolling in towards each other. And if you need a little bit more support in your shoes, go ahead and investigate that as well because pronation is very, very common. I have it and it can definitely lead to foot issues and problems. So the more we can avoid that, of course, the better. Last one. All right, so we're gonna be doing our tree pose on this side. You're gonna be shifting the weight to the inside leg. Again, mentally change your center of gravity from the midline over to this side. So that's gonna help you balance a little bit better. If you do that mental shift as well as the physical shift, then on the up leg, we'll call it, we're gonna open the knee as wide as we can, depending on your hip mobility. You can keep your toes down on the floor. You can come up a little bit higher as long as you're not pressing against the knee joint. You can come even higher if you're feeling good and you're ready for that. And then challenge yourself, see if you're able to let go of your chair. Now extra challenge, if you're still feeling good, try closing the eyes. Don't forget to breathe. Open it anytime if you need to. All right, let's go ahead and open the eyes. We're gonna finish with the rotation. I'm gonna bring my hands to center. You can use the chair if you need it for support. And we're gonna start by rotating away from the chair. So shoulders and head are turning here. Go ahead and look at whatever's over there. Hold it. Come back to center. And rotating towards your chair, hold it. And come back to center. Excellent job. All right, go ahead and shake those legs out. Let's come around behind the chair. We're just gonna do a couple of stretches before we finish. Now, please remember I have entire videos on stretching, flexibility, yoga, chair-based yoga. So please check those out. Make sure that you do take time during your week to do flexibility and stretching exercises. It's so important to keep those muscles and or those joints and your back and your muscles and your tendons all stretched and flexible. So if you feel super tight, take some time in, uh, invest the time in doing that. I have several videos on that. And of course there's plenty on YouTube. Yoga is great, fantastic if you do that. Just make sure that you're doing that as well. All right, so we're gonna do our modified downward dog stretch. I'll turn to the side so you can see it if you haven't seen it before. You're gonna take a big step back with both feet, press the hips back, Try to bring your ears down by your arms. So it's just like doing one down on the floor, but we don't have to get down on the floor. Press your hips back, lengthen your spine, you're stretching the whole back side of your body. Breathe through it. And then slowly step in. All right, we're gonna come around front, have a seat for our last couple stretches here. All right, so I'd like for you to move forward in your chair a little bit, and then you're gonna reach around and just grab the back of your chair, rotate your shoulders back, and lift the chin and the chest. So you're slightly arching the back. If you need to stay neutral for any reason, if you have any back issues that you are not supposed to go into back extension, just stay neutral. Just stay in comfortable range of motion. Breathing, and release it out. So let's finish with our final stretch here. You're going to sit all the way up. Inhale, lengthen the spine, reach up, exhale, open out. And again, inhale and exhale. Fantastic job, everybody. Thank you so much for exercising with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. 
please do check out some of my other videos. I have the videos both on YouTube and on Facebook on my business page. Um, on my, on my uh, YouTube, it's under Lori Vance and on my Facebook, it's under Body Image Fitness 2020. So please check out several of the other videos. Do the ones that you like, save the ones that you like. Please do like and subscribe on YouTube. Tap that notification bell so you get the alerts whenever I post a new video. It also helps with the algorithm so more people see the videos. Same thing on Facebook. If you like the page and like the video, then more people will get a chance to see it. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would be awesome. And of course, again, stay hydrated, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.